हेलो एवरीवन, आई एम डॉक्टर आसिम मालदार कंसल्टिंग एंडोक्रिनोलॉजिस्ट एंड डायबिटीज स्पेशलिस्ट एट पी डी हिंदुजा हॉस्पिटल बाही टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक ऑन एन इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक अ टॉपिक व्हिच कंसर्न्स ऑल ऑफ अस एंड व्हिच इज समथिंग क्लोज टू माय हार्ट टेकिंग केयर ऑफ आर बोन्स दैट इज द बोन हेल्थ यूजली वी टेक आर बोन हेल्थ फॉर ग्रांटेड बट एज वी एज द बोन्स ग्रेजुअली बिकम वीकर गिविंग राइज टू वेरियस कंडीशंस one of them being osteoporosis what exactly is osteoporosis osteon is bone porosis is increased porosity so literally it means increase in the porosity of our bones with time the bones lose their minerals and then they become very fragile bones we usually don't see them as a living structure however they undergo degradation and repair continuously throughout our life and with aging this process decreases and it comes up as a result our bones become more fragile and they are more prone to fractures so that even trivial trauma like a simple fall or getting down from a vehicle can precipitate a fracture how common is osteoporosis now if you look at our indian data 10 to 50% of the people more than 50 years can develop osteoporosis it is of course more common in women especially post menopause because of the hormonal changes and also more common in men who are more than 65 to 70 years of age there are various other conditions which can also cause weakening of our bones conditions like some hormonal issues like thyroid issues high cortisol levels of cushing's disease various medicines like steroid medications heparin inadequate intake of calcium vitamin d poor nutrition these are some of the other factors which can give rise to osteoporosis and poor bone health so why are we concerned about osteoporosis just like other many other hormonal diseases uh, diabetes hypothyroidism osteoporosis is also a very silent disease the bone health deteriorates over time till such a time of you or any other person can get a fracture so fracture is one of the most important outcomes of osteoporosis which we are concerned about and that is what we need to prevent hip fractures can be very very devastating a person might have to undergo surgery and the rehabilitation process is quite long and arduous if you look at spine fractures it can cause hunchback spinal pain and the quality of life actually becomes very very poor then there can be other fractures like wrist fracture etc just like treatment for other diseases prevention is something that becomes very very important so what are the various preventive measures that we can take to prevent osteoporosis some simple things first we'll talk about diet so having adequate calcium and vitamin d becomes important so foods like dairy products nuts leafy vegetables are high in calcium and fortified foods give you vitamin d other than that exposure to sunlight at least 20 minutes 9 am to 11 am adequate exposure of our skin to sunlight gives us adequate vitamin d levels another important factor is adequate proteins in our diet it can be plant protein animal protein fish egg white are good sources of animal proteins which also prevents uh, osteoporosis and prevents fractures other than the diet an important thing is exercise all types of exercises be it weight bearing exercises like simple walking or jogging or even dancing and then strength training exercises with light weights or resistant bands they go a long way to improve the bone health and prevent osteoporosis another important aspect is fall prevention so exercises which improve balance like yoga are very very important so that they prevent falls another important aspect here that we need to look at is avoiding alcohol avoiding smoking and avoiding caffeine which can be detrimental to bones other thing that we should be actually very wary of is fall prevention so taking care of various aspects in our home various wires carpets which are bent at the ends 
use of rails while getting up or climbing down the stairs use of adequate lighting having a bedside lamp especially at night when older people tend to wake up to go to the washroom taking care of the washroom anti skid tiles having a light switch outside the washroom these simple things they can go a long way in fall prevention because preventing fracture is very very important so now we have understood the preventive measures when do we actually see an endocrinologist for our bone health a woman postmenopausal more than 55 60 years of age or a man more than 65 to 70 years of age should actually get a bone mineral density by dexa testing which will show the level of bone mineralization and whether a person has osteoporosis or not any person with an early menopause or low testosterone levels should ideally meet an endocrinologist and get the bone health evaluated other people who have who have been on long term steroid trap tablets or medications like the one suffering from asthma or rheumatoid arthritis should also also regularly meet the endocrinologist to look at their bone health people who have had loss of height or severe back pain are the other people who should look for spine fractures which can have these symptoms and no other uh, symptoms or causes and they should undergo x-ray evaluation and bone mineral density testing what are the various treatment options that we have available to treat osteoporosis so we have calcium supplements a person normally needs around 1000 to 1200 mg of calcium per day depending on the age and gender so if that level is not achieved through food we can give calcium supplements which are available vitamin d is another important supplement which is important for bone health so inadequate sunlight exposure again people need vitamin d supplementation in various strengths so that adequate vitamin d levels are maintained in the blood other than these we have specific anti osteoporotic medications but it is important to understand that all of these medications have a finite use unlike diabetes medications or hypertension medications or cholesterol medications they cannot be used indefinitely and each one of them has a life that we can use for so we have to be very very uh, it is very important that we use them sparingly and in the correct situation so it is very very important that we take care of our bones making small but consistent changes in our diet in our exercise schedule in our lifestyle can go a long way to prevent bone loss to prevent osteoporosis and maintain bone health it is important to take care of your bones literally because they are the only ones that have got your back and are holding you up thank you for listening